TCM announced that starting July 16th, Grandpa's perks are going to work differently. And there's a lot of, I guess, backlash or difference of opinions, I guess, more like it among the community members. But let's break it down and let's just see what are the things that are good and what are the things that are bad from these changes that are coming on July 16th. Grandpa's perks reworked. This is directly from the community hub post. Um, the team is changing how Grandpa perks unlock and function during matches. This is on top of their skill tree rework that they did recently, and it's something that they said that they were working on also on reworking Grandpa's perk. When they first announced that they were reworking Grandpa's perk or how they worked, I also thought that they were going to rework some of the perks, but it doesn't seem like they did. They're, supposedly, their aim is to freshen up gameplay and give more utility to Grandpa and feeding Grandpa. To be honest, like a lot of people don't feed Grandpa, and when you do, you have victims that do come in with the perks and stab him and you know, drops down two levels or whatever it is so now what they're doing is there's levels which will be tied to grandpa's family bond level in order to unlock those so certain perks are locked to certain levels once you reach that level of grandpa uh, bond you will get those perks unlocked uh, so let's just break down exactly how this is going to work this also means you have to re go for number two if your team only brings level three perks for grandpa, none of them will unlock until you get grandpa to level three. So that's something to take consideration. That's also for new players and maybe even people who sometimes just like specific perks of grandpa, because obviously not all grandpa perks are very useful. There's only a couple of them that people and family members use on a constant day to day basis. So let's just um, jump right into like kind of discussing the perks that are on each level. So at level one, we have animal farm. Spear and Stalkers, Well, 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 and Weedum. Weedum? Windum. I honestly have never used any of these at level 1. Level 2, we have Always in Sync, Bar to the Point, Brute Strength, Suffocating Grip, and Swing for the Fences. Out of level 2, I've used maybe Suffocating Grip and Swing for the Fences, and maybe Brute Strength. They're pretty useful. Then at level 3 is our perks that I think a lot of people use, and I don't know why that would be the case that they would put them in here. I feel like they need to spread them out throughout the levels. That's just me. So at level three, you, we have Don't Have All Day, Excited Grandpa, Exterior Alarm, which is one of the top used, I think, family um, grandpa perks that is being used at the moment, just because it's so very useful. And no, uh, Nobody Escapes Hell and will Feed Youngings. So these are the perks that are like the levels. And, and tears. My problem, and a lot of people's problems, is with the rush meta. The, the rush meta hasn't been changed, right? They have tried. I think Hans does a pretty good job about slowing down after the rush is starting to happen. He manages and he's able to cut it down or put it into a standstill for a, a brief amount of time, obviously. But we're still dealing with rush meta, and I feel like unlocking certain perks based on Grandpa's level right and putting levels behind and, and putting perks behind levels that you can't adjust and you can't put whenever you want is a bit of a problem and i think what it's going to create is two things first family members are going to start bringing blood builds which in turn is going to force victims to play faster rushing the more people rush the more like it keeps bouncing back and forth right and also, people, um, victims are going to start bringing uh, perks to strap grandpa and lower him down. They're going to be stabbing grandpa a lot. That's going to create another problem because then you also have perks at level one and level two that are not very useful. So unless those perks get reworked, we're going to see a bigger bit of a problem in terms of balance and also increasing and encouraging more of the rush meta. Well, that's just my opinion. I want to know what your opinions are on this matter. So write them in the comments down below let me know what you think about it i know it's kind of a weird i think change in my opinion i think they should have gone for maybe if they wanted to do this they also needed to rework all of grandpa's perks and maybe add a couple new grandpa perks as well too to kind of freshen up the the meta for grandpa as well too but that's just me well that's it for today's video if you did enjoy this video uh don't forget to subscribe honestly it really helps a lot and set the notification set to all and so get notified every single time i post and I'll catch you all in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.